Welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. Today we are going to find out x of n minus 1, x of n plus 1, x of minus n, x of 2 n and x of minus 2 n plus 1 which are all the mathematical operations which is applicable for the given discrete time signal. So, this is the discrete time signal we have x of n already they have given x of n and we are going to find out or apply these mathematical operations and we are going to find out the new signal according to the question. So, what are all the operation mathematical operations we can apply for the discrete time signal or continuous time signal usually we will say that it is time reversal, time shifting, time scaling and finally amplitude scaling. So, these are all the mathematical operations which we will apply for the discrete time or continuous time signal and the order which we use is also first always time reversal, second time shifting, third types time scaling and then the fourth amplitude scaling. If suppose time reversal is not there then we can apply the time shifting ok that is the priority of the operation it goes like this always time reversal is having higher priority. So, if it is there that operation we will perform if it is not there then we will do time shifting again time shifting and time reversal if it is not there then we will apply time scaling and again first three operation if it is not there directly we will apply amplitude scaling. But if all the operations are there then the priority is such that always we will apply time reversal followed by time shifting followed by time scaling followed by amplitude scaling. So, first let me draw the given x of n. So, the given x of n ranges from 0 to 5. And the amplitude here it is 0, here it is 1, here it is 2, here it is 1, here it is 2, here it is 1. Okay, so, this is the given x of n. The first signal what they asked to draw is x of n minus 1. So, for x of n minus 1 when we see the signal here the operation it is time shifting. Okay, so, whenever we are adding some constant value to the given n or subtracting some value then it is said to be a time shifting operation. So, we are going to apply time shifting operation. So, for time shifting operation we need to substitute whatever the value is given in the functional value whatever we have equal to 0. Okay. So, n value is 1. So, whatever you have n here just add with the each and every instance of n ok. So, what happens? So, what I said this value I have to add with each and every instance of n. Some 0 plus 1 will become now 1 ok it gets shifted right hand side ok 2 will become 3 just you are adding the all the values with this values right 1 with all these n ranges ok. So, 0 plus 1 will become 1 and then 1 plus 1 will become 2, 2 plus 1 will become 3, 3 plus 1 will become 4, 4 plus 1 will become 5, 5 plus 1 will become 6 ok. So, just you are shifting ok original signal ranges from 0 to 5 now it gets shifted to 1 to 6 ok hence the operation is called time shifting. But your amplitudes whatever you have at 0 you have to give at 1 whatever you have at 1 you have to give at 2. So, the original signal how it look like similarly you are going to draw here. So, 0 1 2 1 2 1 so 0 1 2 1 2 1. 
ok. So, you have to draw the signal like this and then suppose if we have x of n plus 1 how will you do n plus 1 equal to 0 n equal to minus 1 n equal to minus 1 means this will go to minus 1 ok this will go to 0 then the range becomes minus 1 to 4 ok. So, you will get either minus value here or plus value here if it is minus value then you have to right shift your original signal if it is plus you will be left shifting the original signal ok. So, that is the first operation. So, we have time shifting which has been applied to the first signal and then what about your second signal? Second signal is x of n plus 1 and again it is easy right. So, just substitute n plus 1 equal to 0 n equal to minus 1. So, I have to add this n equal to minus 1 with each and every instance of n in the original signal. So, this is my original signal always you have to consider this do not consider your previous signal ok. So, now I have to apply n equal to minus 1 to the original signal. So, what happens 0 will become minus 1, 1 will become 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 will become 1, 3 will become 2, 4 will become 3 because 4 minus 1 is 3, 5 minus 1 is 4 ok. So, first complete the range of n and then whatever you have here in that sequence write your values. What are all the values you have 0, 1, 2, 1, 2 and then 1 ok. So, again this signal is also time shifting ok. So, we have done the time shifting operation for the first two given signal ok. Then what about the third signal? Third signal is x of minus n ok. So, whenever your n plus n becomes minus n ok, then this is nothing but time reversal operation ok. Time reversal means you are going to change your n as minus n. It is also called as folding ok, folding your signal. So, whatever you have in the right side you will draw in the left side, whatever you have in the left side you will draw in the right side. Just reverse your signal and draw. So, 0 to 5 will become now z minus 5 to 0 ok. So, you are going to reverse your signal and you are going to draw the signal ok. So, 0 to 5 will become minus 5 to 0. So, whatever you have at 0 will remains at 0 as it is whatever you have at 1 will goes to minus 1 ok. So, what, what is there at 1? The amplitude is 1. So, draw amplitude 1 at minus 1. At 2 the amplitude is 2 that goes to minus 2. At 3 the amplitude is 1 that goes to minus 3. At 4 the amplitude is 2 that goes to minus 4. At 5 the amplitude is 1 that goes to minus 5 ok. So, this is your x of minus n that is just you have reversed your signal ok. So, suppose as I said before if uh, time reversal shifting if both are there in the given signal first always I have to reverse the signal and then I will go to shifting operation. Then fourth question is x of 2n. So, for x of 2n ok. So, again when we have addition of some values or subtraction of values it is time shifting operation. If it is minus n, n changes to minus n it is time reversal operation when n is multiplied by some value or divided by some value it is time scaling operation ok. So, here n is multiplied by some constant it becomes 2 n ok. So, here what we have to do means whatever the functional value available that is 2 n ok equate it to 1 ok. Whatever the value you have multiplied with the n ok that value alone you take ok and equate it to 1. So, n becomes 1 by 2. So, previously you have determined the n value ok and you have added with each and every instance of n. Here we have equated it to 1 we are going to multiply with each and every instance of n ok. So, again the take original signal 0 into 1 by 2 becomes 0 
1 into 1 by 2 will become 1 by 2, 2 into 1 by 2 will become 1, 3 into 1 by 2 will become 3 by 2, 4 into 1 by 2 will become 2, 5 into 1 by 2 will become 5 by 2. Okay. So, as we know the discrete time signal, okay, we, we have only integers values of n okay, for discrete time signal. We will not have 1 by 2, 3 by 2, 5 by 2 and all. We will have 0, 1, 2, 3 and so far that is the discrete time signal. So, first complete your original signal. So, how we will be drawing 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Okay. So, we know that n always takes integers. So, this value will not exist. Again, 1 by 2, 3 by 2 will not exist, 5 by 2 will not exist. Okay. So, we have to redraw your signal. So, x of 2 n will exist only for 3 values. What are all the values? 0, 1 and 2. So, at 0 the value is 0, at 1 the value is 2, at 2 again the value is 2. This is x of 2 n. Okay. So, you are eliminating 1 by 2 amplitude, 3 by 2 amplitude, 5 by 2 amplitude. Always it should be integers. Okay. And then finally, we have x of minus 2 n plus 1. Okay. We have all the operations in mixed manner. Okay. So, here and all we have applied only time shifting, here reversal alone, here time scaling alone. The fifth signal we are going to apply all the operations. Okay. So, let me see how we have to draw. Again, let me take the original signal. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 1. So, this is my x of n. So, my fifth, fifth signal. Okay, whatever the question is x of minus 2n plus 1. Okay, x of minus 2n plus 1. So, when we see here what I said when n changes to minus n it is time reversal operation. So, always we have to apply time reversal operation and then n plus some value or n minus some value okay, that is time shifting operation. Okay. Then finally, n is multiplied by some value. Okay. So, 2n. Right. So, that is nothing but time scaling operation. So, we have to apply the operation in the priority wise. Okay. First, we have to apply reversal and then time shifting and then time scaling. So, first I need to draw x of minus n, then x of minus n plus 1 then x of minus 2n plus 1. In this order I have to draw the diagram. So, already we have drawn x of minus n right. So, similar diagram here I will have. So, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 and then 0. So, reversal of the diagram we have to draw. So, I have 1 2, 1, 2 and then 1. So, this is my x of minus n. So, first to draw x of minus n. Then x of minus n plus 1. Next diagram is x of minus n plus 1. So, already we have reversed the signal. So, previously we have applied all the operation only to the original signal. Here mixed of your operation. So, first operation is x of minus n that we have done. Now, this signal only I have to take and I have to apply the time shifting operation. So, I have to equate the functional value as it is minus n plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So, n is equal to 1. So, add this value with each and every instance of n in x of minus n. So, minus 5 plus 1 will become minus 4, minus 3 plus 1 will become minus 3, minus 3 plus 1 will become minus 2, minus 2 plus 1 will become minus 1, <coughs> minus 1 plus 1 will become 
0 and 0 plus 1 will become 1 ok. So, your signal will become 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 it becomes 0 here ok. So, this is my x of minus n plus 1 ok. So, equate the functional value minus n plus 1 to 0 and find out the signal x of minus n plus 1. So, once done then we have to apply the time scaling operation. So, time scaling operation as I said only we have to take the scaling factor which has been multiplied with n and equate to 0. We should not bother about minus n plus 1 and all ok. What it has been multiplied or what it has been divided by ok that value alone we have to take. So, 2 n is equal to 1 I have to take and n equal to 1 by 2 ok. So, just take the shifted signal as it is ok multiply n value by 1 by 2. So, now I should not take this signal I have to consider this signal. So, n is equal to minus 4 minus 4 into 1 by 2 is minus 2 minus 3 into 1 by 2 is minus 3 by 2 minus 2 into 1 by 2 is minus 1 minus 1 by 2 next 0 into 1 by 2 becomes 0. So, you have 1 2 1 2 1 and then 1 by 2 I have that it is 0 ok. So, now again as I said discrete time signal will not have decimal point values only integers will be having. So, this signal I have to eliminate, this signal I have to eliminate, this signal I have to eliminate. I have to consider only the integers. So, finally x of minus 2 n plus 1 ok this signal how I have to draw it exists at minus 2 minus 1 and 0 at minus 2 the value is 1 at minus 1 the value is 1 at 0 again the value is 1 ok. So, this is my final diagram x of minus 2 n plus 1 ok. So, first always we have to apply reversal operation. So, just reverse your signal then shifting operation shifting operation means just minus n plus 1 we have to take we should not take minus 2 n because it is next operation ok minus n has been shifted with plus 1. So, equate the whole functional value to 0 and find out the n value add n value with each and every instance of previous n, n value of the previous signal and then finally time scaling operation time scaling means just take the multiplied value and equate it to 1 find out your n, n value and multiply this value with each and every instance of n in the previous signal. So, I am getting like this just remove the n values whichever it is fraction ok minus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 and all you are removing it should contain only the integers. So, minus 2 minus 1 0 only you are getting ok. Thank you. Thanks for watching.